I think light is such a key um, at the moment, particularly I, I've engaged in light a lot. Um, I think engaging in communion, you, you, you know, if you think of originally our blood was light, therefore his, he is light. Therefore, the blood is a representative of light and truth and all the energy of creation, creativity that's within the light, within, within that. What it is, I think, is you are discovering your spiritual identity and connect, reconnecting to who you were in that. And that's leading on to your whole body reacting. Because remember when Adam and Eve were first created, they were clothed in light. They had no blood system as we have now um, because they were clothed in glory or light. And the light was able to contain their physical body and soul. So I think there is a restoration to that. And I do think that the more time we spend engaging the light, the more we absorb the light and it begins to affect our whole being. I mean, I spend every time I engage with God virtually going into the realm of light and looking at the light of his face. I remember the first time I did that in 2010, no, 12, 2012, and I stayed in there for a, a millisecond because I could not cope with the intensity of the light. But now I dwell there and abide there because I am dwelling and abiding in the light because I am light and he is light. Um, and the truth, the light of truth, the light of love, there's so many ways of describing um, the outworking of light, you know, quantum light in terms of the fabric and building blocks of all reality. You know, it, it, there's so much to it. Um, but I, again, I do believe that it will have a physical effect and communion has a physical effect. And probably you're just discovering one way that it's having an effect. Um, because when you take on the body and blood of Jesus, you are taking in the light and the truth and the energy of his being you know and light is electromagnetic energy you know at a particular frequency his frequency obviously is the highest value of light if you like which means the highest value of truth or enlightenment and the highest of everything you know it will be the fastest of light, the, you know, it will be pure, unadulterated light. And how could we not be affected positively by dwelling within the realm of light? And sometimes it is just pure emotion. I mean, I think I was engaging this morning in it and it was like pure emotion. I was feeling overwhelmed with the pure emotion that within the light, because it was light that was shining on me, but it was emotion I was feeling. And sometimes, when I engage in the light, it's like I'm absorbing truth. And when I, then I can release the light of truth because freely we've received, we can release that light into the earth, you know, and it actually does not the earth really, really need truth at the moment with all the deception and everything else that people are living in. The light of truth is absolutely vital to bring people into a reality. So I think you're discovering, you know, some of the true identity and that's affecting your body in a, in a very positive way. Um, but I would encourage you to release what you've received. You know, I think when you're talking about arcing, that's why going to a place, you know, what's an arc made of? A connection with two sources of light, which are producing energy and sparks. You know, when you actually see, you know, an arc, there's sort of an interaction between the two sources of, of light, which produces, you know, energy release. And you can release that energy into the earth um, because you've received it. You know, um, so it sounds great. You know, and I think we all get different ways of expressing similar things, you know. You know, I would, you know, I, I talk a lot about the light, particularly at the moment, engaging it and releasing it and all of that. Um, and you, you're sort of using different terminology, but you're really expressing a very similar concept. 
Um, and I love the light of the face of God because it's like his countenance is wonderful and beautiful. And what he releases is just pure love joy peace you know just pure pure light you know that's all you can say it's just pure light and truth you know um, which is beautiful it is wonderful to to dwell there and when you live multi-dimensionally you can dwell there and it can be a continual thing that you're re receiving and releasing and radiating radiating that light uh, from our being because we are we're essentially have a energy field that needs to be fueled by that light so that we are you know, glowing if you like and sometimes people get caught on camera glowing yeah um you know freak would freak a lot of people out obviously if we're all going around as glowing balls of light or whatever and that's what they see when they see us so they generally don't see that but you know that people talk about people glowing or giving off positive vibes or positive energy or an aura of peace or you know it's all sorts of terminology for it but really it is it's releasing the light of who we are so that people can generally see the real us uh, not just our physical appearance but our emotional appearance and our spiritual appearance and the energy of what's flowing rivers of living water flowing from our innermost being which is a flow of light energy it's not real water just a description because water represents something but in reality we're talking about the river of life is crystal you know it, it is it is very different from h2o you know and it actually carries with it energy you know when you drink from the wells of salvation you're drinking holy spirit light energy and it enhances our energy 